Hello everyone, welcome to Abhinagaram channel. So now in this video, I will show you how you can fill the form of Bell Recruitment 2022 for the position of EAT, that is Engineering Assistant Trainee. I hope you already saw the notification, but if not, then in the comment section, I will pin it. Okay, so you can check out that. Salary will be 5.5 lakh per annum approximately and form last date is 5th of September 2022. Now let's start our video. But before that, what important documents you should carry with yourself to fill the application form. First, your SSC mark sheet is required, then 10th or diploma. Okay, and if you complete your bachelor's and master's also, then that mark sheet or certificate you can keep with yourself. Photo you need to upload, which should be recent and signature should be there. Okay. Now, most important thing that registration to UP employment exchange is required. Now, many candidates are messaging that whether all your India candidates can are eligible or not. So, yes, you guys are eligible. Just one condition that you need to register here that is on UP employment exchange. Okay. So, first I will show you this registration and then I will move to our bail registration. <laughs> Okay, now in the comment section, the first link you can see of UP Employment Exchange, just click on that, you will get this page, okay, here you will click on new account, so just click on new account, okay, now here just put your name, mobile number, email ID, your user ID, what user ID you want, then 8 digit password and the same password, just confirm it, put captcha and just click on submit button. After that, you will get OTP. Just enter that OTP and done. Your basic registration is completed. Okay. Then click on login button and just enter your user ID here. Okay. And password and enter the capture. Okay. Now this is your dashboard. Okay. If you are not understanding Hindi, then you can change the language also. From here, you can change. Okay. Just click on English and wait for some time. It will get load in English. Okay. Now you need to complete your profile here. So Obviously, all these details you will feel, I hope. And if you feel any query here, okay, in this section, then you can comment down below. I will help you in that. I will directly show you the main thing that is contact. Here, you need to select whether you are from village or city. Okay, just so you can select that. Then you need to say, enter or select your state from which state you belong okay so that state you can select here then district automatically it will get populated suppose i select haryana then all the district of haryana okay no all the postal address just enter the postal address here of haryana then suppose i select daman div then you can okay like this for up only district of tehsil village okay everything is mandatory but for other state just you need to select your state and just enter your full address here okay that's it and if it, your permanent address is also same as above, then click on yes, otherwise click on no. And then you can enter your permanent address also, okay. So this is the procedure and uh, all the rest of the things I hope you will feel by yourself. I don't see any difficulty here, okay. So just complete your profile here on UPA Employment Exchange. And then in the last, just give declaration that all the things are, are correct as per your understanding and just click on this and just click on save button. That's it, okay. Then you will get your registration number okay now second important link you can see in comment section when you will click on that this page will get open and this is the link of your bail recruitment 2022 now okay so click on this button that is login here first then simply enter your full name as per your ssc certificate yes then date of birth you will select here from this calendar again you will re-enter the date of birth Next, for post, you know our post, okay. Now, discipline. So, for which discipline you want to apply? Electronics or mechanical? So, just choose that. And here, you will enter your email address, okay. That you need to enter. Then, you need to re-enter the email address and password. That you need to create. You will enter the password here. And just, then, just select yes button. That you understand all the guidelines. And just click on submit. Okay. Then, after that, you will get this message and you just click on the email which you already see on your entered email id and here you need to click on proceed to login okay after login you will see this screen now first we will start one by one so first is fill application here first we need to enter our personal details then our qualification details then experience details okay so let's start with personal details okay now on this page just select your name okay then just click on your gender select your gender then here you can see the information about your EAT discipline electronics. Okay, then your age limit is automatically calculated based on the age limit cutoff date. Then you need to enter here father's name, full father name you will enter. Then your present address. Okay, if it is, this is your permanent, then just click on this tick. All the data of, of here will come here. Then your city, state and PIN code. 
of present address and if it is same as your permanent then automatically all this data will come here okay then your contact number here religion you will select here then select your category enter your mobile number nearest railway station also you need to enter select your nationality here marital status you will select and the main thing is that this that is are you registered in up employment exchange so if yes then click on yes you know it is mandatory after that you to enter here employment exchange registration number okay so what your registration number you will get after filling all the data that you to enter here along with the registration value up to okay if you are pwd candidate then click on yes button and you can select the nature of disability okay and also you can enter percentage here then other thing like it is called limiting writing so you know that they can arrange scribe for you okay whether scribe is required the exam center if yes then click on yes otherwise no so they can also bail also can arrange for you one scribe and the last is do you possess a disability certificate from the company authority so if you yes so you need to enter the certificate number date and issuing authority otherwise you can select no also okay if you are ex serviceman then same same thing that number of years of services and organization etc the things you need to mention click on save personal particular then go to here that is field qualification details and now here you will fill all the qualification data here select your qualification okay start from your graduation so you can select graduation and you know the uh, important thing is your diploma so just click on diploma here those who have btech also okay but your diploma is mandatory so first we have to add diploma then qualification or degree name you will add here then your discipline okay suppose you are from electronics then enter electronics suppose you are from electronics communication telecommunication just you will enter here right the duration you will enter 3 year or 4 year depend on you compulsory 3 years are required okay then passing month you will enter board or university so this thing you will enter that is what is your board and university then marking scheme marks for cgpa so you will enter okay then if you and click on marks then you need to enter marks otherwise cgpa also you can fill then your marks obtained okay and maximum percentage here you will enter aggregate percentage 100 and delivery mode that is full time okay then click on show button now similarly just enter the details of 10th also and if you want your graduation then those who are b btech you can enter b btech also okay then you, if you have mm tech you can enter mm tech also and additional qualification also you can enter here now those who are already working on some work somewhere you can input your experience detail here so just click on add experience okay and here you can mention your experience that is pdr from and period to type of organization whether it is private or government or psu then organization name location post what was your post what was your salary ctc you need to enter here basically okay pay scale then job type you need to enter and nature of duty what was your responsibility that all things you will enter and click on save button okay so this is not mandatory but things you can enter okay so 10th is important you can see here 10 detail is not filled so you need to main, enter 10th also okay okay so here i enter maths you can enter science also any subject you can mention there is no problem in that then just select your passing month and year board university whether state board or cbsc then marking scheme again you will select then put your whatever marks you obtain okay then maximum marks and automatically they will calculate your percentage and delivery mode you to enter okay and just click on save qualification that's it okay now the next step is uploading of photograph and signature so just click here so it's simple just click on here so you are you can upload your photograph and just you will click on here choose file to upload signature okay then click on next button now you need to upload your 10th mark sheet here then your id proof okay that is pan aadhar card you will upload here then your diploma in engineering marks card all semester and years you will upload in a pdf just make all attach all the mark sheet of all the semester okay it should not exceed 2 mb so you can use compress also if it is exceeding exceeding 2 mb then diploma engineering final degree certificate you will upload here then your caste certificate then the application form or employment exchange card you can select upload here then this is optional okay if you want you can upload otherwise you can ignore also then click on save and proceed to submit application okay then preview and click on submit the application and then you can just click on here that is save 
okay yes i accept to confirm that all the things are here and just click on do you want to proceed for payment so if you are from general obc ws then you need your payment other for other category there is no payment okay so just click on yes button and just click on then proceed to sbi collect payment okay enter your name of the candidate then you select your category date of birth mobile number email id and just put remark that for bail eat application fee then again name date of birth mobile number email id and enter the captcha and click on submit button and make the payment via upi also or sbi also you can you do the payment no problem with that okay so now if you have any query any doubt regarding this application form then you can comment down below that i know th the process is little bit complicated but still we need to do okay so just have any query just feel free to ask me on the, in the comment section i will definitely help you quickly all the best